Good morning, friends. Welcome to Southern Yankee Beauty. Um, I'm just getting ready for the day, and I figured I would record it and do it with you guys. I'm going to use a Natasha Denona mini palette. Um, since I'm wearing this brown, why can't I get this earring in? I've got these cute little earrings. One's got a star and one's got a moon. They're from um, Anna Luisa Jewelry. But they're it's playing a butthole. Playing a little bit of a butthole. Won't go in my ear. Here we go. I usually wear bigger earrings. <laughs> These are so cute, though. I just, I've got uh, my grandbaby this, e uh, this evening. I've got him for the next couple of days. Uh, taking a couple of days off of work um, because mom and dad are at the beach. We're going to turn the beauty lights on here in just a second. I hope I have enough juice in the beauty lights. Um, I haven't even done my hair yet. I've washed my face, and I have I actually didn't wash my eyes really good because... I'm having some sensitivity to something. I used something that my face didn't like on my eyes. I think it might have been the JLo. Um, it was like an eye cream type of a thing from JLo, and I think that my skin did not like that. And actually, I'm going in with an oil free satin e.l.f. concealer, or I mean, e.l.f. foundation. I don't know if I've used it. It looks like maybe I've used it, but I do not remember. This is in the color. What is it? Pearl. Fair with neutral undertones. Um, I'm well, a little bit more of a medium, but I think that this might be okay. It looks a little light, and I put too much on. And knowing e.l.f., that's probably way too much, because if it's anything like their concealer, this is too light, too. We're just going to we're just gonna have a full coverage look today, and I'm going to have to bronze, because clearly too light. Oh, my God. Don't use a lot of this if you have this. Holy crap. Clearly, I didn't remember. I should have known better with e.l.f. Um, high coverage, full coverage, wrong color. I need medium with fair neutral. I need, like, medium with neutral. So I'm going to see about getting a new color. Maybe that's why I haven't used it. Maybe because it was the wrong color. Maybe in the dead of winter, this could be a good color for me. But right now, just made me look a little bit like Casper. So that's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to do this really quickly and we're gonna get going. So it does look, even though it's the wrong color, it's pretty. I mean, it, it gave me it gave me actually pretty decent coverage. I'll probably still put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. Oh, da, dun, dun. We're gonna put Jeffree Star under my eyes. Um, he's funny. He came out recently saying some stuff about, you know, and he is, I guess, considered one of them because he's a cross-dresser um you know he came out saying too that he is um bi or pansexual or whatever you want to say but he doesn't believe in the pronoun stuff and I thought that was so it, coming from him you know that's what we need to hear because like you know consider yourself whatever you want I don't care I really don't care if you dress up if you're a guy and you wear a dress I don't care if you wear makeup I really don't care um but I don't think, I don't agree with pronouns. That's so stupid. What are you going to call somebody they? Hey, they. That doesn't even make sense. That's for a plural term. Are you, I mean, are you saying you're a they because you're plural? Because you identify as a man and a woman? I don't know. But it's not natural for somebody to call you a they. It just, in fact, I feel like it's quite rude. So I don't know why the community is pushing that stuff. I don't understand it. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the problem. I don't know. Anyway, all right, we're going to go into, I think this is Sunset. Yeah, this is the mini Sunset palette by Natasha Denona. I don't even remember, like, when I got this or anything. So maybe I should put a little something on my eye. I don't know. My eye's been, like, this eye I've had a problem with. Let me pull it in and see if there's an issue there. You can kind of see there's a little mark right here. Um, the skin is irritated, and it's, like, stinging. A little bit but I think every time I've put like a liquid primer on it it's actually bothered my eyes so I think I'm just gonna use eyeshadow and like leave it alone we're gonna go into the first shade which is the lightest shade uh, guava that sound good guava okay we're gonna try guava I think this is like the perfect caramely shade too see it doesn't hurt with powder it hurts if I put liquid like cream on it so I'm hoping the powder just whatever it's fine Hopefully it doesn't irritate my skin. And I'm just going to go quick because I don't have time today. I've got, um, I'm getting my little guy today at four and then I've got to run to his mom and dad's apartment, take care of the cat. And I think a hamster, which I didn't even know they had. And I don't know where the food is for those guys, but they are all over at the beach. 
enjoying life. Although yesterday was cold, so hopefully where they are. I think they just, I, I don't think they're at Virginia Beach. I think they went to Nags Head area. All right, so as per usual, awesome pigmentation. Going to go into the middle shade here, which is Dirty Mars, the dark shade. I am going to get a smaller brush for that, just a little. So I'm just going to sort of tap that in the corner. Tip, 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 tip. You don't have to do too much blending with these dark shades. And when you're using Natasha Denona, her stuff just blends, sort of blends itself. You put it down and if you move it a little, it moves. It's super, super easy. Her quality of her um, shadows, if you haven't tried them, pigmentation and quality is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. I mean, can you even? So pretty. So pretty. All right, now I'm going to go into, in the very outer corner, this dark burgundy shade, and I need a flat brush, a flat brush. This is probably just a Shein brush or something. Sigma, excuse me. All right, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna put this pretty burgundy shade right here. All right, Robert and his son are um, getting a trailer. So that's why the dogs are barking. So anyway, that gave good pigmentation. I'm gonna go into the um, kind of copper shade. Next, I'm gonna use all the shades and we're gonna put that right up in it. So it is going to look like a beautiful mini sunset if you use all the shades, really pretty. And then we'll use the lightest shade here in the inner corner. And we might also use that up here. Um, I went up a little too high, right there. That's what I do if I go up too high, I just do that and I create my little line. So you don't have to be like an expert. Shadow comes off, comes off my friends. Okay, so um, what is that? I don't know, some kind of shadow fallout? What the hell even? All right, so I'm gonna do a little concealer before we do the bottom of the eye. So hang tight, let's do, let's, I think I did this already, but I'm gonna do it again because I feel like I still need more, especially right here. I have a little like sunspot coming in. So I want a little bit more coverage there. I'm gonna use this, which came from Timu. I like this. Um, I did find a better deal. So these are selling for 78 cents a piece, but um, they have a pack of like 12 or something like that for like, or eight for like $1.98. That's the better deal. Get them because they're worth it. They work really nice. And they're so soft and gentle on your skin. Okay, so before I do that, I wanna bronze up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use, start with my Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and then we will go into um, like a, a powder after. So for this one, which one did I use? This one? This one? I don't know. This is what I've been using for foundation and stuff. So I'm going to use this, um, this side here, the flat side, and just push it up into the skin. Almost disappears, but it's there. It gives just enough, just a little bit of a glow. It's, I mean, you saw how dark it was. This stuff, it just blends in. You'll, if you use a brush, you'll probably get a little bit more pigment, but it's really a sheer formula. So don't be afraid of these. These are actually quite gorgeous. And you know what else is quite gorgeous? Her um, liquid highlight and blushes that she has as well. Amazing. Now, e.l.f. just came out with some. I have not used those, so I don't know what they if they compare, like if they're a dupe or if they're at least a close enough dupe. Like, you know, like the price is so much significantly different that maybe they're not like exactly the same. Maybe the Charlotte's is better, but if e.l.f. works then why not, right? If it works. So I might try those, but I'm curious to know if you guys have tried them. If you have, please let me know. All right, so now I'm um, just taking a little bit of that concealer and going down here, just down the middle. And then I wanna do, just a little like triangle area right here. I know I'm like not making a good triangle here.
because I always get like some darkness right in here, especially like up in there. I always get a lot of darkness. All right, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna go into this, which is one of my faves, and I'm just going to big brush it like this and really get the skin nice and pretty and bronzy now. I don't think they sell this anymore. I can't find it and I'm upset because I'm almost out. This is by Jouer and I love this powder. It's like um, the color I have is light to medium bronzer duo and I have sunlight and suntan are the two colors. And obviously the suntan works better, which is the one that has the hole in it for me, the darker shade, but they both work great. And I really, really, really enjoy these. So um, there is like one I found on there that's like a darker shade. So I don't know if they're gonna come back with more of these, but guys, if you can get it, get it because it's really good, like super good. What is this? Highlight, we can use that today. I'll probably use a powder over it as well. All right, let's finish, let's finish the bottom. Let's get going. Right, starting off with a little fluffier one. This is by Morphe, it's an M322 and it's just got a fluffy end. And we're gonna start with this shade, which I'll probably then, I'm laying it down, but then I'm gonna put the darker shades in um, after, and then I'll go in and blow it all out again. But this is a good one for like, when you really wanna like get it, like you want a smoked out look and you want it to show, this brush is good for that. Although Murphy is in trouble and going, I think, they, I don't know if they're in bankruptcy or I don't really, I don't know. They got rid of some of their big stars and then like, cause there was some controversy in the beauty industry. And then they sort of just went away. They sort of just went downhill. So I don't, I don't know what happened to them. All right. Going in with the darker shade which was our color dirty mars and now you're gonna push that right there on the that gives a nice darkening up maybe i'll do my hair we'll see we'll see how i feel all right taking so with that same color i'm going with the red just like we did on the top right there just a little, because I don't like a lot of red on my eyes. I don't feel like it's really a good color um, around the eye. It can make you look really sick. I just saw um, someone, I'm not gonna name names because I really like this girl and I don't want any, any bad stuff coming. Now I'm taking this color. But she did an eye look with a really cool like indie brand palette and beautiful look, but then she put like um, in the waterline, I guess it was a hot pink, but it kind of looked red on camera. And it looked, all I could see was like double eyes. I didn't like the look of that at all. Um, I just don't like red in the waterline or too much red near the eye. You have to be careful when you put red on your eyes. All right, so now I'm going in with this lightest shade, which is the color Halo. And putting that right in here. That's a nice little brightening area. And we're also going to put that on the inner corner. So for that one, I need a pointy kind of a brush. Should I pull one out? No. Well, kind of. I can use this. This isn't the right brush, but it'll get in there because it's got a tip. So going in with Halo right in here and pulling that up and right here. really need to go get my eyebrows done. I say that I think every time I do an eye look and then I just don't get it done. The guy that does my hair admittedly doesn't know. He said, don't have me do your eyebrows. I'm not good at it. And then, so I don't do it over there. And then I think my nail place does it. I don't know. Um, I need to go like someplace where like I'm already there. Like I'm there for my hair. I'm there for my nails. Otherwise I won't get it done. Uh, that is just it. Okay. So here's our final look. It is quite pretty. I do think I want to take that halo just a little bit, like right here, just a little. And like, um, blend that in. Yeah, that, that's what it needed. Sometimes you got to play a little, you know? Okay, now I'm going to do liner and lashes and I'll be right back. 
All right, I said I was gonna kind of smush the underneath and like blend it out, and I didn't do that, but I like the way it looks the way it is, so I just left it. I also just did a half line on the top right here. I do wanna kind of smudge it a little bit because I made a mess with, not with that, but with the mascara, I made a mess. So I'm just gonna like, that was the Pat McGrath Black Star Mascara, so I'm just gonna like blend that line. Now, I did feel like I messed up this mascara when I did that because I felt it. It still was wet. So let's declump that. So sometimes if you do your eyeliner and you see that you got your mascara up there, if it's still wet, you can go in just with a brush and just smoke it and blend it into your eyeliner. But I did only do a half line. Um, instead of coming all the way in, I didn't do that here. Now, if I was doing lashes, I would have, but otherwise I just want it to look a little bit more lifted. Um, so for the cheek, I am gonna use this drop of a hat, Super Shock. Um, I think this is a really beautiful peachy shade to go in with this eye look. And I really like this eye look. I think this is really pretty. So this is the Sunset Mini Sunset by Natasha. I think for sure we're keeping this. I probably would never get rid of any of my Natasha Denona um, palettes or my Pat McGrath. I think I refer to them too much. I it's It's something that I really do quite a bit of on this channel. And I also, you pay a lot when you buy these palettes. So like, I won't get rid of those palettes. Like if I ever do a declutter there, even the ones I don't use, I probably wouldn't get rid of them. I would just keep them for review purposes. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't get rid of them because that's just, that's just who I am. All right, so taking the foundation, I'm just, no foundation is on here other than what, what was still on here. But isn't that a beautiful blush? It looks a little scary, but it's not. And that's called Drop of a Hat. Now, I have a medium skin tone. If you have a really fair skin tone, this could be a lot for you. So you may not want to do that. Let's go into the um, Charlotte Tilbury. And let's put... We already have a nice little sheen going here from the blush. Because the blush does have shimmer in it. So we're just putting a little bit more... Very nice. You can't see that one, but very nice. I feel like sometimes I put too much on my nose and lip, but like if I put it on my tip of my nose, I have a long nose, so sorry the dog. Dog, stop it! Um, I don't know why I said dog and not chopper. That was weird. Stop! I think I have to let him out and then we'll finish the face. All right, I'm using an S. Almas Glam brush and I'm just going to powder the areas that I have an issue. I'm just using this translucent powder. I'm not sure if I like this or not. It's from Mary Kay. I got it, Kennedy just did. My daughter did a party at her house and I don't know if I like it. Like, I think I would have liked it more if it wasn't white. I'm not, like, a huge fan about the white powders. Like, I like more, like, I like this better. This is my Almay or Maybelline or Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. And this is in Light 01, but it's got color to it. It's got skin tone color, and I like that. I like that a little bit better. All right, so, you know, I want a little bit more doodah blush. Let's see what we have. Or highlight. I mean, highlight. Oh, what is this, too? What is this color here that I got? That's too dark. Um, I think I'm going to do, what is this? This is good for Gerard Cosmetics. Maybe we'll use that. Or I could use this Shan, Shades by Shan. I got this um, as a pretty neutral. Maybe I'll use that, a matte lipstick that we got, I think, from the new Ipsy. So we can use that, but I still need to do a little bit more highlight. All right, so let's try Jaclyn's highlight. We'll tr Let me just see how it... Okay, that should be good. It looks like it's a little darker. I'm gonna use this other shade on this side and see. I'm using the whiter shade. Well, maybe it is the darker shade looks better. I'm just gonna put that in the front and leave that lighter shade up back. I think that looks good. Do you guys like that? All right, so that's what we're doing. No, a little bit of lip smack. I'm gonna do a darker one, Cupid's Arrow. This is a 
it says full color styler. I don't know. It's from Nabla. You can use this on your lips, your eyes, wherever you want, but I'm using it here. I do have a little bit of uh, lip balm on, and I'm using the lip balm from um, Timo, the one that came in a little honey pot. I don't even know where I put it right now. Oh, right here. This. I love this. I'm using that, that little Timo honey pot. They do have it in cherry as well. This is like the perfect caramel color to go with um to go with the sunset look. That's if I just mixed it into the lip balm, that's what we get. Not bad, but I do want to put the lipstick on, I think. Which is lighter and peachier. <laughs> and messier. There we go. That's our look for today, friends. So using the new, well, not new, the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset. Really beautiful. Let me come close so you can see better. Ignore the fact that my eyes are puffy. I woke up, they were almost swollen shut this morning. So they're, they're much improved, but I still have whatever's going on on this eye is still an issue. Overall, that's really cute though, isn't it? Um, so maybe at some point I'll do my hair. We'll see, but uh, I'll take photos at the end if I do my hair and I'll put them at the end. If I don't, if there's no photos, I didn't do my hair. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll see you in the next video.